Greetings everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the worst hacked client for Minecraft 1.20.2, the latest release. We're going to have to get three files to download for the actual client itself, and one potential extra one that you may need to get as well. So first we're going to go ahead to the Fabric Installer website, and we're going to go ahead and click this Download for Windows button. It's a giant blue one. I'm going to go ahead and save that to the desktop. Uh, that should give us a fabric installer. We can then cross this link off here. That should be a pretty quick download. Scroll down here on the worst client page. And we're going to find a big grey button and a white button. We're going to click both of these and open them both in a new tab. And save both of these files to the desktop. They also should take pretty much no time to download. It'll be, it'll be very fast download. And there's also one last download that you may have to do if you don't have the latest version of Java or if for some reason later on in the tutorial you, it's just not working. And that is to get the latest version of Java. So we're going to go ahead and cross this off now that we've got those two files. And we're going to go ahead and download the MSI installer from the Windows bracket here on the oracle.com Java download site. I'm going to go ahead and click save on that. This one will take a little bit longer. It's just sort of important to get the latest version or MSI installer version of Java in order for the fabric installer to run properly. But after that's downloaded we can just go ahead and cross it off. Alright we should now have four different things. One of them is going to be this Windows um, MSI file and this is Java if you don't already have it. So in order to just install this you just double click on it and just run through the basic setup tutorial. I'm not going to do it, I just did it before so we don't need to do that step here. First thing we're going to, the only, or the only thing we're going to be running here is the fabric installer. So if we just double click on the fabric installer, you'll know that it's slightly different because it'll have this weird little paper thing because it's an exe file. Uh, we're going to get an option of which version we want to install it for, and it should be set to the latest version by default, which is currently 1.20.2. So we're just going to go ahead and hit uh, install and leave create a profile checked so that it creates a new installation within the Minecraft launcher for you to use. And after we've done that, it should be very quick. It'll give us a little message that says uh, successfully installed. We can go ahead and delete the fabric installer because we no longer need that. And now we're going to have to do the technical bit, which is where we hit Windows key and R. And that's going to bring up a run window. We're then going to type in percentage app data percentage and hit enter. And that's going to open up the location of the .minecraft folder. We're just going to click on .minecraft. Should be somewhere near the top. I'm going to scroll down and somewhere within here you should find a folder called mods. It's in alphabetical order so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Go ahead and double click on this. I've already got uh, copies of these installed but if you didn't have these I'll just drag these out and put them in the bin. You would drag the worst client and the fabric API into the mods folder. <laughs> then we can just go and cross that off. And we can double click the launcher and start running the launcher. And we should have a new installation waiting for us within the Minecraft launcher when this loads up. If we don't get the eternal loading screen, which hopefully doesn't happen here. And we have been loaded up and we should automatically have a Fabric Loader 1.20.2 installation down in the bottom hand corner or bottom left hand corner here. We can just go ahead and click play and we're pretty much done. This is that's everything you really need to know. The only thing you might want to know after after this stage is how to actually open the hacks menu once you have the game running. Uh, and I'll get to that in just a little bit. Alright, so once we've loaded up the game again here, you can see we'll have Minecraft 1.2.2 slash fabric modded down in the bottom hand corner here. And if we would just go into a world here, if I just load up this world here, I'll just give you a, a quick rundown on basically how to use all of the different uh, features, all the, all the main things you need to know about the hacked client in order to really properly use it. So I just loaded up a new world here, and as you can see, uh, it just looks like a normal game of Minecraft. We don't have a worst logo or anything. Uh, when you first load the, the game up, you may have a big old sausage worst logo in the top left hand corner. I did make a tutorial a while ago on how to remove this, but I will go through it quickly. Uh, if you go into, uh, or press right control, just, that's the first thing you need to know. Is the So the control button on the right side of your keyboard will open the menu. The escape key will get out of the menu again. The shift key on the right side of your keyboard will open the search menu and escape will get out of that again. To enable a hack you just go ahead and left click on it so that's just your regular click that you would use to break blocks. You go ahead and click and when it's green that means it's on. Uh, UI settings is where you're going to find the 
logo getting turned on and off. So if you click on UI settings, if I just move these around a little bit, <coughs> you're going to have a UI settings tab. So just drag this somewhere where you can see it. And at the very top, there'll be a worst logo thing. You can just click on worst logo and that'll bring up this little menu here. And you can go ahead and click on this little green arrow here and change the visibility uh, so that the little sausage logo disappears. <laughs> if that gets really annoying, because when you first load it up, you'll probably have the sausage logo set to visible, which means you're going to have this big old worst thing, which isn't great if you're recording or something, whatever like that. So I like to leave that one off just by setting it to that. Uh, you can open and close the menus by clicking little arrows here, and you can pin them by clicking the pin button. And you can also open extra settings by left, uh, right clicking. Sorry, on some of these, some of these ones. Once you click on them, or some of them will give you extra settings as well. Is, is what I'm basically saying. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all you really need to know. Uh, you can scroll through and have all sorts of fun just figuring out what all these do on your own. Probably don't really need a whole walkthrough. Uh, but yeah, that's how you get the worst hack client for Minecraft 1.20.2, the latest version as of now. Thanks for watching and have a nice day and goodbye.